I believe it takes courage to start a business and a little bit of crazy to continue. Starting a business is not for the faint of heart and it's not something most of us take lightly. We can come up with all sorts of reasons to do it and we can come up with all sorts of reasons not to do it. And it all depends on how much we allow fear to dictate our decision. So let's assume you've started your business. And I, I totally get the fear. In fact, I'll never forget when I started my first business, I was driving to the FedEx to mail off my paperwork. I was buying a franchise at the time. And I had the tunes cranked, my hands are shaking, I'm smoking cigarettes, just chaining them, thinking that was gonna calm me down, right? And I was so excited, but on the same hand, or maybe on the opposite hand, I was worried that I was making the biggest mistake of my life. And once you do get it going, it takes a bit of crazy to continue, sometimes a lot. There can be twists and turns, highs and lows, ups and downs, mistakes, setbacks, total amazing wins. And it's always, it's not always easy to know what the next perfect step is. And in some cases, we have friends and family who love us but they question why we continue pursuing our dream when the financial or lifestyle rewards aren't there. And they may never understand because they're not in our heart, they're not in our shoes, and that's okay. Now, my first year of business was a total embarrassment. I made 10% of what I'd been earning in corporate America. A lot of people would have quit. I was like, oh no, I got all sorts of crazy. I just knew that if I kept going at that rate, I was gonna be sleeping on a park bench. And I also think about Jennifer Crochet. We met a couple years ago and she wasn't making as much in a certain line of business that she wanted to do, a type of business she wanted. And so she wasn't sure if she should invest anymore. And after giving it some thought, she decided to invoke Darren Hardy's wisdom of taking 20 seconds of courage and signing up for a six month um, coaching package so that she could get some help. And within six months, she went from making $1,000 a month to thirteen dollars to $15,000 a month. I mean, over my 15 years in business, I have questioned my sanity, my abilities, my wherewithal. And I'm telling you, those are the times that I am so thankful I have a deep supply of crazy. It's not always easy for me to do, but one of the things I found super helpful, and I hope this is helpful for you, is to trust that everything will work out as long as you keep taking action and experimenting and making mistakes but not judging yourself, just getting back up, dusting yourself off, and looking for another dose of crazy.